What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Ember, a game that I've been keeping my eye on for quite some time. I'm excited to try it out, I haven't seen anything but promos at this point because the game has basically been on lockdown, but seeing as it comes out on Steam tomorrow or today, if you're watching the video right now then it comes out today, this morning, it seems to be kind of a spiritual successor to something like Dungeon Siege almost from all the coverage that I've seen of it. And so anyways, I'm very excited to check the game out, do a little mini series here because I do have early access to the game now. So, welcome. Let's get started. Our character name, Lightbringer. No, we can't be having that. We don't bring the light, we bring the pain. What should I name him? We're gonna name him Beer Goggles. There we go, his name is Beer Goggles. And then select a difficulty layer. Yeah, that's fine, we'll just do normal. That's cool, I'm not the kind of person who likes to push things. At least not in my series. When I play games by myself, I usually go with the hardest difficulty. But when I play on YouTube, it's just like commentary uses up all my brain power and I can barely hang with like middle difficulties, so... Domus, a world of peace where all races lived in harmony until one fateful night when the sky lit up. And embers rained from the heavens. Millions beyond count fell to the ground, their fiery tails and gleaming crystal slamming into the earth for what felt like eons. The people of Domus hid, fearing this terrible omen, but one race, whose curiosity knew no bounds, ventured forth. The Lightbringers felt the magic contained in these stones. The more they studied, the greater these fallen embers seemed. They were more than just beautiful. They were alive. And so a special bond was formed between the Lightbringers and their magical companions, the Embers. A bond so true, no other race could replicate it. Jealousy grew, and it led to war. The dwarves mined for Ember, digging deep into the earth where they had landed and hoarding all they could find. They sold them to eager elves and men who drained them of their life force, using their magical power for selfish gain and wearing the spent stones as jewelry and trinkets. Many forgot the embers were even alive and sought their beauty and the energy within. But not all. The monks of Radiance remembered the old ways, remembered the Lightbringer teachings, and sought to save the embers from their terrible fate. For the embers had become part of Domus in more ways than one, and their dwindling numbers and looming extinction might herald doom. All. But the monks could not do this alone. To save the embers, they would need those who knew their secrets. They would need to awaken the greatest Lightbringer Domus had ever known. It's Beer Goggles, isn't it? Yep, he earned that name. That's why he's legendary. You ever find it weird how there's no technical like the ritual should have worked? <laughs> I don't know if I could have a civil conversation with somebody that just blew me up when they got out of their casket. In addition, I might be slightly concerned that they were a zombie. I just be like, well, you're technically the undead. Let's see, a guide to getting around. I can click on open ground to move around. You can also drag a line from your character to the world. Okay, so that's cool. So I can be like, blah, and just move my dude around, or I can click. Okay, that seems good enough to me. All right. It's got a little bit of like a, I don't know, Beyond Divinity or all those games. I don't know if you ever played the Divinity series, but it's got a little bit of a feel of kind of like some of the older Divinity games. Feels nice. The ritual worked. I, I should not be surprised. I'm going to multiply my devotions to the goddess as soon as we get back. Now then, we need to find our way out of the burrow as quickly as possible. There are many horrors here. So, uh, what happened? How am I alive? You don't know? You're a Lightbringer. I was sent to, uh, well, 
I came to resurrect you, but can we delay this conversation until we escape this place? Cool. Let's get out of here. You'd best be armed. Can I give you a sword, a bow, or a magic wand? Uh, give me the sword, because I go in on fighters. Here you go, then. Let's both pray you remember how to use it. I assume there'd be some level of atrophy. To the monks of Radiance, the head monk is Surma. He'll explain everything. I locked this crypt behind me with this key to discourage thieves. Could you please unlock the door? Okay, let's leave immediately. Thieves left or thinned their own ranks for us. I suppose we'll find out. Can I read these little books over here? Oh, we just walk on the books because that's showing the proper respect to literature that it deserves. 14 gold coins. Hooray! Ticky, ticky, tick. So we've got a journal, we've got a character sheet, and we've got an inventory. As far as all of that is concerned, it looks like we've got the crypt key right there. Okay. Suppose we go to our character sheet then. We've got our ancient rags on. Ceremonial robe has been reduced to a heap of dusty rags. It provides a little... Protection, good. Just schlong to the wind, waiting for somebody to stab me. Waiting for somebody to stab me in the tally. Great. Well, let's continue forward and see what we can accomplish here. By my estimate, I would assume there's some kind of treasure or awesome stuff down here. See, gold nuggets. Those things are the size of a bird's egg. Those things would be worth a fortune. Unless gold is really, really common in this fantasy realm that we're occupying. What is that right there? It's a ruby. Ruby, 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 ruby with a dead guy. Alright, so we got four. The strange key right there. Found a skeleton in the burrows. There's a rat. Can I stab the rat? Is that an option? It's not an option. It does not appear to be an option to stab said rat. Well, that's fine then. All I wanted to do was murder, but I guess they won't allow me to kill rodents. I'm trying to help out with the rodent population. It's over here. Ooh, emeralds just grave robbing like crazy. Because that's how heroes do. Never underestimate a hero's ability to grave rob and take things from locations he really shouldn't be looting them from. A free cheese! Hooray! There's nothing like floor cheese. That crypt cheese just laying around. Ooh, is a bear pelt too? Damn, son. I leave this journal for my sister Cora in case I die in this accursed place. I departed Radiance last night before my brothers rose for morning prayers. I fear the forest when it is dark, but that was the only way I could leave unnoticed. My journey through the northern forest has been surprisingly uneventful. Nary a soul in sight. While the strange noises make me jump at every shadow, I have yet to see anything more dangerous than a rabbit eyeing me suspiciously. Day 4. Finally, the deep barrow's entrance is in sight. I dare not go in yet. I must bolster my resolve with a good night's sleep and a large amount of wine. The crypts have been overrun with thieves and giant spiders. However, I have managed to slip by mostly unnoticed as they are busy battling each other. My combat training as a monk has served me well the few times I've had to defend myself. I am now in the Lightbringer's Crypt. His sarcophagus is thick with centuries of accumulated dust and cobwebs. It is now time to enact the ritual. This game has kind of like a lion head feeling to it. It, it very much feels like one of those games, you know what I mean? It feels like it's Molly No inspired. What is this over here? There's a lesser health potion. A red apple. And some rolls. There you go. We're going to add some rolls to our frame. We have been getting a little bit thin lately. Got to bulk up for the adventure ahead. Who knows how much weight we might lose. We have unlocked the door with the crypt key. Please let them be gone. Please let them be gone. Oh, I mean... Ooh. A little bit of amber in there, too. Who are you talking about? I thought we were on the delivery's place. Just shut up. Do what I tell you. Hello? You little peasants out here, you got any turnips for me? Hello. Oh, we're fighting now. So does he stab on his own? Okay, so he stabs on his own. Do I have any abilities or anything? I do not. So it looks like it mostly controls itself on some kind of auto system. I'm assuming later on we'll have some kind of control. Maybe over the AI. Can I loot these dead guys? Dude, I can. There's hide armor, crude copper daggers. Hell yeah, those are just daggers that make fart noises at inopportune times. That's all that they are. Like, you'll be sitting there at fancy Thanksgiving dinner with your grandma, and the dagger will be like, Pfft. and then it'll kind of like point sideways at your little brother. Be like, dagger, why you gotta do that? This is supposed to be a classy occasion, and you're just making it weird. So I think we should probably wear some hide armor. That's probably a good idea, right? Yeah, that gave us, it's ragged. It's ragged, which is unfortunate. Do I get to change my... Do I ever get to change what I look like, or is that what I always look like? I just look like this masked guy. Do I still have a mask on? Oh, I do. I've got like a death mask on. 
Okay, that makes sense then. I suppose it's kind of like Planescape Torment where you're like, Ooh, this guy's got stuff too. Hell yeah, I'll take it all. Can I dual wield daggers though? Because I want to dual wield daggers. Dual wielding daggers would be what's off the chain. So let me see if I can do that real fast. So I can go like dagger. And then can I go like dagger in that hand? Hold on, let me let me get a dagger, yo. Let's do this. Oh, it's shield only. So why would I go with a dagger over a sword? So average damage is 24, average damage is 25. 18 to 22, 20 to 28, speed is 1, so that's a little bit faster, so on average every 5 attacks you get a free attack. Uh, I think the dagger is better. Does it have like a straight DPS? Huh. I guess not. I suppose I'll go sword and board then. That sounds good to me. I like sword and board. That door is locked, so unfortunately our adventures have come to a pause along that front. Oh my good lord, there are beasties down here. There are long-toothed beasties, and apparently the men who have seen fit to tame them. Filthy. Filthy, filthy enemies. I stab you, sir. I stab at thee, and I watch thee die. And down you go. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves just yet. It might not be completely and totally over. Now, it doesn't look like there's a button like there was in Baldur's Gate that allows you to figure out what's lootable. I'm trying out. I've tried control. I've tried tab. Then again, we've looted everything at this point, so that might not be the best way to get it done. Let's also try to figure out how we can get some potions on this quick slot, yeah? I think we go, like, right there. Ah, there we go. So it gives you a little context. You can't drink another health potion yet. Oh, there's a little cooldown thing over there. Okay, so it functions in a lot of ways like what you would expect from like Dungeon Siege or any game like that. We've got rubies. We've got that kind of stuff. It looks like they've got a slight glow to them if they're lootable. So I guess I'll just have to keep an eye out for that. A spoon. Sell it to a merchant for gold or, you know, eat with it. Although you have to wonder what culinary level this guy was functioning on. Like, what a gourmand that he was buried with a spoon. Like, his only achievement in life was just being really, really good at eating. Jaren's Journal. I can't stop the bleeding. I had no idea there would be thieves down here. My job was just to come here and scout the area for altars. Rail from Radiance told me to return if I found any. However, I don't think I'll be going anywhere. Yeah, I'll take that letter with me. And it looks like we've got some new quests. We've got a dagger and some gold coins. We can't loot this dude's baller clothes. He's got a gold belt buckle, dude. You've got to see a crude copper cleaver. I'll probably go with maces or warhammers, if given the choice, because I love maces and warhammers. I always go with maces and warhammers if I can get them. A cleaver gets me a little bit closer, although that looks like it's got the same speed. It does 18 to 30 versus the 20 to 28. Okay, so it's a little bit. It has a higher threshold, but a lower low boundary. Okay. A shrine to what? Why are you guys praying next to dead people? I want to be around corpses when I'm trying to commune with the divine. We've got a deer hide. An emerald apple wine, red wine. A djembe. Ooh. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare, Hare. Krishna, Krishna. That's right, I live in the Bay Area. It's Hare Krishna's all over the place. Once you get to San Francisco, well, not over the place. They've diminished a lot since, like, the 70s. My parents say that there used to be Hare Krishna's everywhere. Like, it was kind of a fad that died out, I guess. I don't think we picked up a key or anything back that way. Let me check the door one more time to make sure. That door is locked. See, that's what... A guide to getting dressed. Be sure to loot the bodies of your fallen enemies. This seems like... Just basic advice. I don't know if I should go that way and look for a key, or maybe I come back here later on, but I want to go that way. How do I go in there? I want treasures. I don't like leaving things behind. Can I pause the game? Oh, good. It's got push pause, too, so that'll be good. Push pause. That sounds adorable. Like when you buy a kit and it's like, now with 80% more push pause. Die, skeleton. Okay, die again, skeleton. I command you fall before... Ooh. There's two-handers, though? Well, you know we have to go with two-handers, then. I wonder if there's, like, legendary items and stuff like that that have, like, names that look cool. Oh, hell yeah. I mean... 
The pain is getting worse. Me lord, my ass is bleeding. It's bleeding so much from the dagger. It's been stuck inside me. Good God, fetch me a surgeon. I beg you. Let's see, the mace of speed. Well, see, now you got to tempt me. Because now... So, a guide to special weapons. Special abilities are granted to party members by equipping gear found in the world. Loot the chest to get a weapon that has a special ability called Double Strike. Makes you strike twice. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. And then you could pause and queue up abilities to be used after you unpause. Well, I said I was going mace and shield, so... That's what we're doing. Sword and board... Meh. I'm tempted. The only thing that tempts me outside of Warhammers and Shields and being like a plate-mailed paladin is having a two-hander and just going like balls in on my enemies. There's a crude cleaver over here. We've got some more gold coins. Hold on, pal. I will give you first aid as soon as I get done looting all of these dead bodies over here. You'll be fine. You're panicking. Dive it. All right, so we've got Riven over here. Dude, do I get a pet dog? Who's there? You come to watch me die? I don't think you'll be waiting long. How are you injured? Damn crazy giant spiders, that's how. Been driven mad by some down here. We come down here and start opening crypts, and the next thing you know, eight-legged freaks are everywhere. No man should die like this. Gods, help me. I have no time for this. Do you wish for me to end your suffering? Not for me, no. Poison's just about done its work, but, uh... My dog, Riven, he fought so bravely for me. He killed the last spider, but it's poisoned him. It's driving him insane. Could you put him out of his misery? He deserves better than becoming just another monster. Well, if that's your wish. Thank you. I think I can let go now. May Argana judge me well, brother. Sorry, dog style. Oh, yeah, I give him a nice little, like, whap, whap. Give him, like, a little... Can I spam that right there, like, Diablo style? Yeah... I kind of associate monks more along like the pacifist line, but we seem to be a much more violent strain, much more enthusiastically, more like the Templars in all honesty. There ain't nothing but death down here, me lord! I'll oh, creep upon you. That's right. Get maced up. Oh, I can spam it, so there's a little bit of Diablo action in here too. There's a great shield? Dude, they're just tempting me. I don't know what I should use right now. Does it make me slower though? Either way, it looks badass as hell, so I kind of want that. We've got like a bulwark. Beer Goggle's got his bulwark. Got a short bow, ragged hide armor. I'm going to sell all this shit when we get to town. I don't know where the first vendor is going to be at, but he's going to get a load of just like tacky adventuring bullshit that nobody wanted or needed. Like holes cut in it from stab wounds. I always wonder why RPGs never do that. Like, why does the armor never have holes in it? Like, assuming I stab somebody to death real fast, the armor would take some form of damage, right? So... I don't know, I think it'd be cool if you had a game that actually tracked individual damage to the armor. Then again, if you got to that point, you've got to worry that it's going to break down, and I hate it when games force me to repair my shit like every five seconds. But like, well, why is this necessary? Why can't I just have armor that lasts forever unrealistically? So see, I want to have my cake and I want to eat it too. That's the truth. That's the truth. Take my book. He was never Oligar's friend. Oligar should have never left library. Hey, buddy. Leave me alone, stupid human. Why are you so angry? Oligar does not wish to talk with you. Then I will leave you be. Leave, human. Leave you, kid. I should have done orc voice for him. More name is Oligar, the Crumper. Got my, I got my lures mixed up, though. Can I pick up those gold coins? That rat is like the wealthiest rat in all the land. Will they fight each other? I was going to say, let's not get involved if we don't have to. Let them kill each other for now. And another one. Come on, thief. Oh, you've been slowed by the booty discharge of the giant spider. Anyone have any healing potions? I do. I do. Feel better, Corin. Feel better. So how do I know when I level up? What's up with that? What's up with that, though? Oh, okay, so over here. All right. I don't know if Corrin's going to be with us for a while. He seems a little frail for this kind of work. I never really liked the trope of the warrior who doesn't like being a warrior, where he's just like, I don't know about this, and then runs into combat and starts hacking away, and he becomes like the ultimate murder monster of the group. You know, kind of like the Khalid guy, I guess. Well, 
Well. It appears as though we ain't getting out this way. Jiggle the door! Maybe that'll get me out of here? Hey, dead guys, what you got going on over here? Y'all got any keys or anything? Ooh, you can craft at the campfire, huh? What can you do at the campfire? Ooh, a flavorless cooked steak. Hooray! What, can I melt the cheese? So it looks like I can put all kinds of stuff on the fire and just like hope something happens. You smell foul. Um. I don't know if I should murder him or not. Watch your tongue, you vile creature. Human has no respect for Oligar and will die. Okay. Sorry, Home Slice. I don't plan on dying today. Because I got double strike. Does Oligar have the key? No. He's got a crude copper cleaver. Gold coin. Oh, wow. There's all kinds of stuff over here. We got the. Let me get these gold coins, though. Let me get these gold coins, though. We got raw fish, food seasoning. Hopefully, I, I was hoping he might have the key on him, but I guess we can't get through that door right now. So let's say that I put the food seasoning on there and the raw fish. Cool. A grilled whole fish. Restores health to full and slightly increases intellect for five minutes. Nice. And sells for a pretty penny. If we're trying to earn some cash, it might not be the worst idea to just start slanging that shit all over the place. I wonder how we get through that door over there. Because, like, back this way, I don't recall seeing any sort of, like, split off or junction. Stefan, he's quite dead. Got gold coins. Oh, there was a way back this way. Okay. I looted that dead body, right? I actually kind of like how the special abilities are linked to the weapons. Double strike. Definitely got kind of a dungeon siege feeling, and I think that's a good thing. I'll be honest with you, one of the games that I spent probably the most time on when I was a kid was Dungeon Siege 1 and 2. I spent a lot of time playing Dungeon Siege 1 and 2. After Baldur's Gate... 1 and 2, I would assume Dungeon Siege was probably one of the games I spent the most time on. I wouldn't know, but it just seems to me, knowing myself, that the stone door is open for spider fights. And down they go. I suppose we get some spider silk out of there. We gotta cut it out of their spider booty holes, though. Their spider cloacas. Their spinnerets are actually what they're called. It just looks like a booty hole, because that's where... That's where it goes on every other animal. It's just that it's called a spinneret right there. Spiders poop, right? Spiders definitely poop. I've never had a tarantula or anything like that. I assume something goes in, something's got to come out. Is it stinky when, like, a tarantula drops a dookie? I know it stinks like ass when a snake takes a shit. I had a girlfriend that was really into snakes. I, I was never so keen on the whole I love snakes thing. I'd be like, this seems like a villainous, ruinous creature that comes from the black while you sleep to steal your children. I do like how they hit most of the time, so that's nice. It makes it kind of a pleasant hack and slash experience. Go ahead and heal up real quick. We've got a lesser health potion, a crude wooden staff. We've got bucklers. I don't know if I should equip this guy with gear. Like, is it worth it? Or is he just going to run off? I always hate that in RPGs where you give somebody, like, a bunch of loot, and then they just take, on, they take off after you, like, later, like, five minutes from now. He's like, all right, done with the tutorial. I'll see you later. And then he's just never around anymore. And then he takes your loot with him. Stealing little thieving NPC bastards. I just wanted to play more Jimbe. That's what I got out of this is that if you try hard in life and you become an adventurer and you do heroic things, you'll get brought back from the dead so that you can play the Jimbe. A cleaver, an embalming tool, a pickaxe, which is... I would like it if there was auto gold pickup. Like for the gold that was on the ground. I like that feeling when you walk over a pile of gold and it goes tick, 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 tick. And it gives you like a whole bunch of gold. Wow, we got a lot of HP though. A cabbage. Alright. Boil if you want your house to smell extra farty. For a pickaxe. Oh, apparently we can do all kinds of crafting. We can mine from nodes. So where are the nodes at? What do the nodes look like? We've got pickaxes, so I'm assuming as part of the tutorial they're trying to show me that... I wanna know! Can you show me? 
I want to know about those all notes landing. Got a bedroll. Be sure to pick up the bedroll next to the pedestal. It will be added to the other filter in your inventory. Using it will restore the health and energy of your party and possibly increase an XP boost. What is the XP boost? The XP earned from defeating enemies is increased by this boost. You gain XP boost by sleeping. The longer it has been since you last slept, the greater the XP boost will be. XP boost decreases as you defeat enemies. Keep your boost high. You will need to sleep regularly, but not too often. Okay. Well, maybe I'll kill off these creatures over here, then we'll take a little nappy poo. Fun factoid, you should always have cleaning products around if you're planning on taking a nappy poo. And also, you're going to have to frequently wash your sheets. Yes, yes it is. All of this low-level RPG slaughter really gets the arm tired. Perfect. Anybody else got anything for me? Okay. Okay, now we go to the inventory and we go with the bedroll. Yes, sleep for eight hours. Can we be attacked in our sleep? Oh, we got spooky music. Sleeping after a long period of wakefulness has added 25% boost. Yay! I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for coming. This game is called Ember. If you wanted to get it for yourself, I've got all the information down below. I don't expect this to be like a long extended series or, series or anything like that, just because RPGs don't tend to fly well here at the Nerd Castle. However, I wanted to check the game out and at least give you a little bit of a primer, because I know there are RPG fans out there on the channel. And this seems like an interesting title, and I'm willing to bet that very few people are actually going to cover it. So I will see you all next time. Hi to everybody.